Joining us on the broadcast are defense expert Major Mohammad Ali Shah as well as international affairs expert Sanjeev Srivastav. Uh, good morning, sirs, and thank you for joining us on the broadcast on NewsX. Uh, I'd like to pose my very first question to Major Shah. What do you make of this action um, by the Pakistan Army? Uh, in fact, we're getting to know that three top generals have been sacked as well as 15 people, out of which 12 commanders have been court-martialed. What is your reaction to this? Oh, very well brought out by you. Yes, they, as you mentioned earlier, they were more than 5,000 people who were arrested. And some of them, were, though they were later on released, but more than uh, 100, including civilians, were still in trial in the military courts. And they have been human rights violations. And they have been uh, human rights activists, saying that these uh, trials in the military courts are illegal apparently, but as per the 1952 act, where any civilian who is to be, who leads to arson or leads people to get into mutiny can be tried as per the military court. So legally, I think they're covered. Now coming to your question, yes, three generals have been uh, sacked and furthermore, there's going to be action because obviously, totally unprecedented arson in Pakistan, though of course, I mean, it's not a very different country, but an attack on a military establishment in Rawalpindi in Pakistan, the attack on the core commander Fokos house in Pakistan, the attack on the radio station in Pakistan, by, and let me tell you, these were army personal families also who were involved in these arsons. So even the family, even the army personal families are being tried in these courts. Now, when they crack down on the army officers in Pakistan, most certainly, first, there could be two things. First, why and how could a civilian mob come and enter and attack an army establishment? Now, by an army establishment, I do not only talk about the uh, headquarters or an office. Even a corps commander's house is an army establishment. How can that be raided? How can it happen? First, so it's lack of security. And second, even if I give the other angle to it, where some officers could have been mixed with it, so the uh, guards or the people at the, the door were asked to step back and let people come and do whatever they want to do, free for all. So again, it's a crime. So most certainly the trials that are going to be happening, a lot of heads are going to be rolling in Pakistan. And I think it is, uh, see, Pakistan is a country where anything can happen. So I think the heads... Actually, if you see logically, they must roll. But I will not be surprised if they go scot-free again. After the arrest of 70-year-old Iran Khan on corruption charges, this whole arson took away, took off. And there was a split again in the uh, military of Pakistan. Now, I will quickly tell you, like General, uh, the, the general, the chief of army star, General Asim Munir, he is a Shia general leading a Sunni army. Now, they have been Shia generals in the past. If, you, if I go to 99, 1965, it was General Musa who was the Shia general. In 1971, Yahya Khan was the Shia general. If you see, both the Shia generals had waged a war against India. They, because they wanted to prove, they were from the minority side. They wanted to, uh, they were eager to prove their loyalties and their, that their effectiveness. Now, this Shia general again over here, what he is going to be doing is, he knows that the Awam would actually, since Imran Khan is very, very popular, the Awam will favor the Imran Khan's part. Uh, uh, what what is what, what insaf is that? Some insaf. Which insaf is that, Pia? Uh, Pakistan Tariqe insaf. Pakistan Tariqe insaf, exactly. So the fact is, he knows that these guys will favor Imran Khan's party completely. So now he has to muster up support. And, they, and I would not be surprised if there is a proper mutiny in uh, Pakistan army soon. I will not be surprised because, as I mentioned earlier, anything can happen in Pakistan. Look at what what's happened to their generals earlier in the past. General Ayub Khan, he had got uh, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto as the head of state. Ultimately, General Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was executed by the Pakistani military itself through a high court order to legitimize it. Look at General Ziaul Haq. In 1988, he died in an air crash, the case of the exploding mangoes, when he was flying with the American air, uh, delegation. So, in Pakistan, basically, anything can happen. And if you do not take a trial on these officers, I will not be surprised if some civilian, some contract killer comes and assassinates them. So, basically, a crackdown on in Pakistan was necessary on these officers. But let me tell you one more thing. 
thus this whole inquiry whole crackdown has been quite delayed actually you look at when was 9th of may and look at the date now it's june june is coming to an end so i don't know how long the court of inquiry took how long the court martial took i really don't know i mean i don't know how efficient they are firstly they're not efficient they only project to be efficient so i think a lot of heads are going to be rolling and more heads are going to roll thereafter yeah